Look at you. You are 30 years. Francis, your friend is driving a Range Rover. Why are you not yeah. driving the same? Look at them. They're going for a holiday here. Why are we? And all of these things make you begin to feel like you're not good enough. Your, life, yeah. your mates are doing better than you. But, but everyone has got life to run at their own pace. Mm. Everyone's door will open at different times. Yeah. So don't be too hard on yourself. Actually, actually yeah. everybody wants to do things just to see the other people happy. Mm-hmm. Just to complain on other people. No. Hello, guys. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. This is the FNF Catchy Dialogues. And today we have the lovely Diaz with us again. 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 What, 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 what have you been up to? Yeah, I mean, people love you so much that they wanted you back. Thank you. What I am have, back. What have you been up to? <laughs> huh? What have you been up to since we, we last had you? Um, on done the anything new? Have you tried something new? Is there any new development in your life? That you yes. Yeah? yeah? Yes. So what's happening? What's going on? Nothing. I want to keep my mouth shut about it. <laughs> yeah. But definitely something is going on in the background, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I don't know what, but there's something. There's yeah. something. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Is cool. I... <laughs> Keep quiet. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, All right guys. So great. our food for thought for today is confidence is not only about being certain of your strengths. It's also about understanding your weakness. Understanding it's okay to have them. Always working to improve yourself. This is by T's and Javas. I'll take it again. Yeah. Confidence is not only about being certain of your strength. It's also about understanding your weaknesses. Understanding it's okay to have them, your weaknesses, and always working to improve yourself. Yeah, completely agree with you. Yeah. So, yep. the, the first question I'll ask the both of you, why do people think weaknesses are a bad thing? Well, well, you know, weaknesses are sort of a limitation. Okay. It prevents you from going that extra step to achieve the things that you want. For most people, it demoralizes them. Some people cannot handle weaknesses or failures in life. The the biggest weakness for most people is unable to handle failure. People are crushed by failure. It just ends their dreams and their aspirations, right? So they, they think that it's always good to have your strengths that serves as that fuel to keep you going. Once they, they know they have certain weaknesses, but accepting them makes them feel less of themselves and then keeps them from achieving their, their goals. Yeah, I think. Yes, is some kind of people. So that depending on the situation, the weakness have the but most of the people when have some weakness, I will give example. So one person lose the legs mm. and they think that is the end of the world. Mm. No, but they they didn't think in in the how manage that and how how much good can be the life. So they thinking I lose my leg, I mm. lose everything. Yeah. No, you're still on life. Mm. You can do it more. Mm. It just improve yourself, increase. So it's a new challenge mm. because you will start a new life, and that is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And and I'm asking this because. There's, there's now something quite common, mm-hmm. something called low self-esteem. Mm-hmm. And everyone is talking about it. And everyone is finding ways to deal with it. Could it be that something that would trigger someone to get into that state of low self-esteem is actually a weakness that can be worked on and become better at it and that no longer would put that person in that state? Yes, sometimes... Sometime person lose this team and they thinking uh, again everything finish is the end of the world mm-hmm. but uh sometimes it's hard i know uh, people don't accept in herself but people not understand that you have to accept in yourself before no matter what the other person say about you mm. you have to fight for yourself 
Yeah. And you have to you have to feel important yourself. Yeah. You are worth it. You can do it. Yeah. No matter what. No matter if you have two legs or one leg, one thing or you lose one thing. No, no matter what. Yeah. If you if you if you cannot do it your dreams now, no matter how many times you fall in down, mm. just stand up and continue. Mm. That no is the end of the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I I think uh, self-esteem actually is just having that belief and that confidence in yourself that yeah. feeling worthy of yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know there are people that think that they don't deserve good things. It could be as a result of so many factors. One, one typical example is yeah. poverty. There are people that are are from very poor backgrounds that when they are even gifted something nice, they think no, I don't deserve this thing or I don't think I I need this thing or this thing should be given to me. Maybe someone more important than myself deserves it. Yeah. Right. So with with those people at the back of their mind, they are they are lesser than others. They see other people more important than themselves and they are willing to take second place in life. Mm-hmm. They never want to go for the first. Like success seems scary to them. Yeah. 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 You see, and that 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 can be i don't know it looks like a certain demon that can keep you in shackles for the rest of your life yeah it's like a, a form of bondage so lack of self belief mm-hmm. all right and the the next thing could be maybe trauma from childhood bullying there are most people that have been bullied and then it it just quells them up Okay, so imagine that you've always been ridiculed by a certain disability, for instance. Yeah. That that is it. If you accept it and you take that as a limitation, there's an opportunity. You feel that because I'm disabled, I don't think I'll go for it. You don't even make the attempt. So for most people, they lack the confidence to make the attempt to work at the things that they deserve in life, and and that is it. That is it. Do you know one funny thing? Talking of all these, but do you know that even race, in terms of race, mm. there are some races that believe that they can't do certain things, they oh, can't achieve oh, certain yeah. things. True, and yeah. it's quite, especially among the Black Asian minority, mm. when you come into a place like this, you think that you can't break through and become the director or become the CEO mm. or something like that because mm. of where you're from. Mm. So we kind of restrict ourselves i don't know if it's fear i don't know if it's timidity low self-esteem whatever it is we feel that our race is some kind of weakness so we 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 kind of feel reserved opportunities come up and you're scared to go for it and all of those bits do you, so, do you get yeah, yeah. it you say you have to first uh, <laughs> there's this song that says emancipate yourself from mental sleep so yeah low self-esteem low self-confidence mm-hmm. it's someone can impose that on you so we've we've always been told that you are the less class among humans yeah you can't make anything better you always have to be at the receiving end you won't you won't have any innovative drive yeah even if you have that sense of innovation you think that doing it within your environment it wouldn't thrive so you have to go and do it in another person's environment exactly you understand it all starts in the mind yes I mean. so for most yeah. people they've been brainwashed and they've been told so for someone to subdue you or make you fall as a slave the person tells you constantly that you are born to be a slave yeah, yeah. so then you you have no drive to oppose your master right you you don't think that you can one day become a boss there are people you always have to start from the bottom no matter what so you 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 start from being a learner you have to serve someone before you can become a leader but for some people they've been told and they've kept it in their mind that i was born to only be a servant i was never born to to lead so the the brain tricks them into thinking that way and it's everything that we do for your hand to move is for, it's caused by your brain your brain yeah. controls every activity in yeah. your body right so once the brain has been conquered that is it yeah yeah so i think i Uh, regarding how was you you was talking you are big you are big person is your brain yeah if yourself you are sometimes you put your ass yourself mm. as a slave yeah. because you thinking you cannot do it mm. because you 
actually the society is influenced a lot in that in that problems because I don't know why in that century the society influence influence in that kind of things. For example, if you don't have a high status, you you cannot be in mm. so many places. You cannot have talking about the race. Yeah. If you are black, also the society actually yeah. is the the bigger uh um how to say the society have the blame. Yeah. Because no matter the color of your skin, yeah. if you have the capacity to do something, do it. But the most important thing is you have to believe yeah. in mm-hmm. yourself. Yeah. No matter how it will be today, I cannot do it today. You have to wake up tomorrow and say, I can do it. Mm. You have to continue. Mm. You have to prove by yourself you can do it. Yeah. No matter what the pe- what the person say. I will like to share experience from when I was younger. I am yeah. I am very tiny. I am still tiny, but more tiny. You are not tiny. You are, <laughs> you are cute. Yes. So, I was really, really tiny. Yeah. I ran when I have 16, 15, you know, changing the, the age from child to adolescence, you know. Mm-hmm. When I have 15, 16, I was really, really tiny and I suffered bullying mm. because I look like a boy, not mm. like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> and that may make me have have self of esteem mm. and i feel me bad because i say why people tell me i am i am a boy i am a girl why yeah so when i stop to thinking like that and i stand up in front of the mirror and i say i am why i am pretty no matter what the people say yeah. when i start to accept me myself mm-hmm. people start to bully me wow because i don't put the, i don't hate what the people say about mm. me mm. You have to believe, no mm. matter if you use a clothes, it's, it's bigger for you. No, no, if you feel comfortable with yourself, mm. people will see your values mm. and they will stop. Yeah, True. absolutely. And they True. will accept you because the first person have to accept you is yourself. yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's very, I mean, with what Francis was saying, it's all in the mind. It's all yes. in the brain. The more people keep saying this, it gets printed in your mind. So Your then brain you sh- is your you big sh- enemy. Exactly. And now you should begin to now challenge these thoughts when mm-hmm. they come in. People, um, I have a very good friend in um, in my former workplace in London. Favor, big shout out to you. When she's leaving her room, when you enter her room and when you're leaving, behind her door, she has this inscription there saying that you are, you are I mean, some, some positive stuff like you are good, you are great. You are, and anytime I'm leaving her room, I read that before I leave. So I'm like, this girl is really empowering herself. When she steps out of a room, there's nothing you're telling her that can bring her down. True. Because yeah. she always sees this every single day, 365 mm. times mm. a year. So this gets printed in there and you are not going to, by your words or by your actions, knock her down. No. Obviously, there'll be times where people will say things that will hit you there and then. But you have it in your... It's It won't settle. It won't sink in. Mm. It will only be on the surface, float, and then it, go, yeah. it goes away. So I think that is one step into you know kind of fighting this whole low esteem and another thing that is quite concerning is the fact that people like to seek validation from others yes so So, waiting validation from others is a waste of time that make you feel miserable Mm. because you cannot expect in from other people what you want for yourself Mm. no because people have different opinions yeah if I, is, I, I was telling before, you have to accept you before. L- it's lack of time. It, it, it's waiting for someone like you, for example. I will give you an example. As a child, your parents don't accept you. Mm. That's how you are. You, for I will give you another example at, with this same topic. You are a guy. Mm-hmm. No matter if you are a boy or girl, you like boys. And you are boy, mm. and you like girls. If, if you are a girl, it's so difficult to accept yourself. Imagine that person waiting for pardon validation. Mm. It's really difficult. Mm. But that society actually don't understand that. But the most important thing is you superate yourself, mm. accept yourself, no matter what, no matter when and how. But but accept yeah. yourself. Yeah. So seeking validation so once once that memory is crushed right and then 
you have no positive self image of yourself so one once upon a time back in junior high school yeah. there there was um we have this uh, school prefect yeah. academic officer yeah. compound over here and all that i was going to apply for one cuz uh, most of my close friends my closest friend was going for the school prefect yeah. i thought i should go for the academic whatever and someone walked to me that oh i think you can go for the school prefect as well cuz you are equally good you are very gentle and all that and another person walked up to me i heard you want to go to, for the school prefect do you think we vote for fools Oh. Someone is telling me that you deserve it. Another person is telling me that you think we vote so indirectly you don't deserve it. You are you are too foolish to. Yeah, exactly. That is it. And that wow. person I'm not close to that individual. Now, what is left in between these two opinions is what I think of myself. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I think of myself is what will stand supreme. So if I think of myself as foolish then i wouldn't apply i'll just go along with what that person yeah. created of me right so having that positive self image if you don't know yourself you don't know your capabilities i've always told myself that i'll be great mm-hmm. before yeah. traveling to the uk when i was in senior high school i anytime i'm praying one of the prayers i was praying to god that i need um i want god to help me get a scholarship to travel to study overseas yeah. right i knew i was going to travel one day Yeah. Not that I'm not proud of my country. I wanted to go and exploit other opportunities and all that for studies and gain new knowledge and insights, right? I've always told myself I'll be great. I'm always thinking. I'm always I, I used to say that I felt that I was being too ambitious like I'm chasing success. I knew I was going to get it, but how to get it was a problem. So, no matter how long it takes, I know I'll be successful. I'll work hard no matter how long like yeah uh, it would take for me to get there right so if i i feel that mm, maybe success is a chance that i might get or maybe i don't deserve success because uh, mm. i was born in a poor home i yeah. have no opportunities and all that i don't even know anyone bro with the little <laughs> obstacle yeah you fold you you don't you don't move anymore there are people that they fail in examinations and that is it. they drop out of school it's because they they feel that oh i've tried and I'm not academically good. They f- probably you leave junior high school, go to senior high school and that is where you shine. You you become the best of yourself. Our teacher told us a story where there was this young guy in senior high school. He was one of the worst students academically. He was a valedictorian when he went to the university. Imagine that. He he got straight A's from level 100 to level straight 400. To he had a new orientation. He sat down. Why are these people? Why are people making it? Fine. I'm not academically good, but that doesn't mean that I'm stupid or I'm dull. I can do it. What do I need to do? So, you are having that failure or you are not there yet. Sit down. What is going wrong? Accept that you can get there and then start working on yourself to become that better version. The image that you see and you think is too bigger than you is because you've not worked on yourself enough or you've not um pushed yourself to get there. Nobody no matter how many hands are laid on you you yeah. won't become a successful person if no. you don't try exactly. and if you don't yeah, believe yeah. it even in prophecies if you don't believe in, in if yourself. you don't believe what people have said they say a prophet says that oh i think dias you be uh, the president of so so and so country and you don't believe it first believing it makes you work on it exactly if you don't believe it you think it's a chance so you said there put your hands in, in your ties and you'll be waiting that if it comes fine if it doesn't come but once you believe it you work at it and if you're not achieving it you you still push on you break all barriers and all mm-hmm. obstacles yeah, together exactly. I, yeah i have a the same but not the same situation but i have experienced before come here as i said in the previous conversation last videos i i started as in s before when i finished the college i applied to the medicine exams mm. but you have to in my country you have in that time you have to have a high levels of points you know yeah. Yeah. when you finish the exam you you have to in that time you have to get the 98% mm. of your exam too but i i just get the 95 so i don't approve uh, i don't pass mm. i don't get medicine i say what i will do now i don't like nothing more mm. before to be an s so when i finish the the college i decide to search for work mm. 
because my mom say I don't will help you if you don't get any any career mm. you have to look for work and I say okay I start clean mm. in a hospital mm. in the theater room mm. and one of most of my colleagues from my school they give me back and I say I don't will stop here I conti- I in the hospital they give it the opportunity to study as a nursing assistant mm. I start as a nursing assistant in the theater room mm. operating and after that I get pregnant I have my daughter and I say I cannot stop now mm. I have to continue yeah. so they give me opportunity to to do the nursing career mm. and I do it after that I never thinking in go any other country so I get the opportunity to go and work in Dominica and after that I take the bigger risk on my life mm. because when you are in that kind of collaboration with my government you cannot do it nothing you're not supposed to travel to another country and you know most of the time you have to do your CBT exam in another country mm. so I say I have to do it mm. I have to do it because I can do it is my future mm. If I don't believe in myself and I keep attention in another people say because they say you are crazy you cannot do that you will lose everything yeah, yeah. I don't be there today no. no so I go two times to Trinidad and Tobago I do my exam and I today I'm here you are here yeah. yeah if I keep attention in what the other people say I didn't know UK some people impose their own insecurities on you exactly and then so they feel that um, because I, sometimes people Sorry to this. Sometimes people want to see you good, but don't better than themselves. Than themselves. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that Absolutely. is the other point. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, you have an idea. Yeah, and I think you are my good friend, my best friend. Sometimes yeah. is wrong, and I told you I have this idea. I want to do that, and you tell me why? Why you will do that? You're not supposed to do that. That no is good. Stop. Not do it. Why? Be- you know why? Because they don't want to see you better than mm-hmm. themselves. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So so I, and I feel like sometimes it's it's in two ways. It's either genuinely they don't want you to better than um to be better than them or they become so comfortable where they are and they feel like everyone else should stay, should stay and yeah. become comfortable there too. Yeah. But we've all got dreams, we've all got things that we want to, you know, achieve things that we want to do. Like um Francis Riley mentioned, sometimes the kind of things you think about, the level that you want to get to If you tell the next person they'll think you are mad True. or they'll think you are over ambitious but I I'd like you to think that no, way no, no, because no. I I like when the challenges come on I I like to I want to make a big impact I want to leave a legacy behind so the this whole validation thing that we're talking about can be as little as Facebook likes or Instagram yeah. likes yeah. someone posts a picture expecting about 200 likes and then maybe just one person likes or two people yeah. like, like oh that's my picture not nice that that and then it dawns on them mm. you you want to go for a position you want to go for a, sh- a, a contest you want to participate in something but you feel like you don't deserve it or you feel like you can't do it because you haven't seen someone else do it okay sometimes people are waiting for others to make the move mm. before they make it as well mm-hmm. that is one thing that we all should learn to overcome. Yes. If you want to go for something, give it a go, go for it. Yeah. If you fail, you learn from it and you go again. Rather than sitting and settling and feeling like this is where I want to be. And also preventing others from going. Th- those are the people I hate the most. Mm. People who tell you, you know, genuinely, sometimes there are things that a close friend or some if there's something you can't do, if your friend tells you that oh this thing you're doing i think it's not for you if it's indeed not for you you would even know it yeah, exactly. before your friend says exactly. it exactly yeah but there are some people who just are scared of you progressing or are scared of you leaving or are scared you know of of all of these things like yeah. francis was saying before um he traveled outside it was same with me i knew, i always knew i wanted to travel out of the country to do something else I didn't have any family anywhere. There's no one going also to see me. you. <laughs> exactly. But I'm at the end of the day, you need to take a chance on yourself. Yes. And say that I want this and I'm going for it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So yeah. most of the people they don't allow you and don't agree with you to do something because they don't have the strength to do yeah. what yeah. you are doing. Is that's what happened with me. 
in that brigade, or you have all the eyes over you, mm. because if you are doing something wrong, you go back to your country. Mm. Yeah. You understand? And most of the, you have, I have to do everything in silent, mm. because if you, if you're doing something wrong, a simple thing, I lose everything. Mm. So when people know what I was doing, when I when I finish everything I have ready and I say I need my end of the contract, people say, Diaz. You're crazy. <laughs> you are mad. <laughs> you have more ball than a- any man here yeah, in the yeah. in the brigade. Of course, but if you don't fight for your dream, mm. nobody will do, nobody it, for will do it for you. Yeah. And also nobody will give you the right to go. Do it. No. Yeah. 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 I think I think that what yeah. what will help, do you know most of this thing about low self-esteem starts from childhood yeah. right sometimes the family you are born in everybody is there mm-hmm. and <laughs> when so um i know someone i have a friend a male friend uh, in my childhood the yeah. dad always says don't do this uh, stay out of trouble yeah you, you are from a poor family so uh, don't you know don't mingle with these yeah. people these people these rich people they they can find their ways out when they they yeah. go they, they make mistakes mistakes and risk are the things that will get you there yeah life is life is a risk right but you know what the guy's mom will say he says no you're not poor take that mindset out of you even if you don't have riches now since you are rich in christ yeah. right so yeah. <laughs> yeah you are not poor that that says that you are from a poor family don't do it don't 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 take that risk yeah. stay in your lane steady hard you live in and a glass house. <laughs> if you fail in exams they think that that is it yeah that's fine right. that's how yeah. best you can do yes you've done your best yeah if you yeah. want to go for, into politics say hey, no you're a poor person you want to go into politics that's for the rich people yeah, they'll you know kill you. you probably you have something to impact yeah. the world yeah. but your parents will sort of limit you in that way so i think parents will help by giving like feeding their uh, children with positive reassurances you can do it you are you are strong or you have every potential like yeah. anyone else yeah. don't don't let them because you are not rich or because you didn't get it don't think your child won't be able to achieve it yeah. encourage them push them says that you can be the next um, um chairman of the united nations you can be like just confess big things to them yeah. let them know that they can do it and you know we shouldn't limits um children's excellence based on academics yeah. children have other potentials right exactly. so here people go to british got talent america's got talent and all that they they find those things as equally important as academic yeah. success yeah but back home if you're not educated they think you are stupid or you you have yeah. you you're not going anywhere you know so if your child is good in something else but academically not doing well don't say you you are very dull you are very stupid why are you not doing well in class see your mates they are doing this and and they are being first in class and you are always last you demoralize that child and that child would, would never get to the middle position always will stay at the bottom because they think that my mom is always complaining my dad is always complaining i'm not able to impress them so let me just let me just stay like that i won't force anymore but probably that child has a different talent say that oh this thing will also get you there let let them build one aspect is a failure for them but they have other potential help them to build their self-esteem and confidence in that probably that is what is they are going to be the next michael jackson they are going to be the next yes. best pianist in the whole world they are going to be the next big the biggest footballer yeah but you think the child is not doing well academically so the child is stupid and he stops playing football because go go to school study and if you are playing football no it's only stubborn people that play football yeah. you you kill that child's dream you everybody's know. born for something different so our parents can help uh, um, reduce that low yeah. self-esteem and you know what is the, the biggest error we doing in the life the bigger error no is the uh, when you are wrong no don't mean the big the mistake you're doing in your life the bigger error is don't do it the most of the thing you are deserve to do in your life mm-hmm. you have to give you the opportunity to try and know mm-hmm. don't stop the bigger error is don't do it don't what do you it. deserve to do in your life yeah give you the opportunity to do mm-hmm. if you fail don't worry try yeah. again yeah in any situation if you anticipate it and say i cannot do it mm. 
you will have the doubt mm. in your mind always. What should be happen if I do it something? Always you will blame yourself happen, and you yeah. will self this team. That is another factor. Yeah. yeah. In any situation, friends, work, relationship, marriage, ev- any situation, if you don't do it, what you deserve? Because you are afraid. Because your parents tell you you cannot do it. Because you are, you don't have money. You don't have. You are poor. What you will lose if you don't try? Yeah, yeah. just do it. Just People will laugh do at you, it. But do don't it. Be, yes, don't right. be afraid. Don't. Why are you why are you feeling afraid to do something mm. if you don't know? Mm. If it fail, okay, that noise the end of the world. Absolutely. You're trying to the other way. Yeah, yeah. Or trying in the same, but you learn from this mistake. Yeah, yeah. And and I think um, with what Francis was saying about parents and other things, I think people also have issues with self esteem from work. There are some people or there are some managers or um, employers that no matter what you do, mm-hmm. you can't please them. Mm. And eventually you then begin to feel as if you're not good enough for what you do. Yeah. And then mentally that can drain you. That is how people are demoralized from going for other opportunities because they've been constantly criticized. They've been constantly accused of things that they didn't even do at work. Yeah. And That kind of limits you. It keeps you in your shell. Mm. You know, you you are not able to progress. And it's not even just in the workplace. Even in relationships, there are people who are in relationships where the other person makes them feel worthless. Like mm. you are not yeah. good enough. You are not yeah. beautiful. You yeah. don't have money. Look at your colleagues. They are driving in cars. Why are we? They're sometimes a taxi? so selfish, and they say yeah. you have to do what what I think because you think yeah. that noise is important. No. Exactly. Look at you. You are 30 years. Francis, your friend is driving a Range Rover. Why are you not yeah. driving the same? Look at them. They're going for a holiday here. Why are we? And all of these things make you begin to feel like you're not good enough. Your life, yeah. Your mates are doing better than you. But but everyone has got life to run at their own pace. Mm. Everyone's door will open at different times. Yeah. So don't be too hard on yourself. Actually, actually, yeah. everybody want to do things just to see the other people happy. Mm-hmm. Just to complain on other people. No, you have to be happy with yourself first. Yeah. If you don't happy, nobody will nobody. happy true, around you. True, no, true. even your parents. Even if you will be a parent, you will have a child. If you're not happy with yourself, you don't yeah. will make a happy your children. Mm. Never. Mm. No, Absolutely. because because this also the children can get from you that sadness from you. Yeah. Self, uh, self esteem, and also they, these children can do it the same after. Mm. In the work, uh, you was talking about the workplace. Sometimes the line managers told you you cannot do it. You don't enough to do something, but you have to prove of yourself. Mm-hmm. You are good. Yeah, you are enough what you do, and you can do more. Yeah, yeah. you don't have to demonstrate nothing, mm. but because you know. Yeah. You know your your work. You know your abilities. You know everything about you. I don't think um, this is uh, trying to say that don't accept criticisms, right? Sometimes at work it can be that genuinely you are doing something bad yeah. or you are not being competent enough. Mm. When you are given that piece of information that I don't think you are doing well, sit down and assess. That depending also. You have to yeah. You have de- to know whether truly you are not doing because if you know that. You are doing something wrong. If you, you think that I'm not being good at this, you know. Yeah. Before someone prompts you, you you feel it within you that I'm not doing well. Seek help. Seeking help doesn't make you less important than yeah. the other person or less knowledgeable than the other person. Mm-hmm. It's just that you have a fall short in your knowledge base in that field. Yeah. You might be good in other things. So work on yourself. Accept criticisms, but believe that you can become a better version of yourself. One thing that I think. Um, also affects people so much in low self-esteem. Um, in the context of low self-esteem and seeking validation is um, body shaming, right? So people fail to realize that we didn't create ourselves, mm-hmm. right? It, it, there was, I had this problem for a very long time with some friends and other things. But I saw, I I tell people that why are you worried that you are too fat? Why are you worried that you are too slim? Right? We are all. God has a reason for creating someone with, with a very big nose, with yeah. very tiny legs, 
I didn't create. If we all had opportunities to create ourselves, ah, you know how we. We'll, but God has a reason. Yeah. I didn't create myself, so I don't expect that when someone is mocking me, let's say my legs are too slim or I have too uh, big ears, yeah. I should cry and I should make myself feel worthless. No matter how many times you cry, your ears won't grow smaller <laughs> unless you do plastic surgery, which yeah. doesn't make any sense in a way. So. Just accept yourself for who you are. People are always there to talk, right? That big, you feeling you are too big, is something that someone also appreciates. Yeah. You're a big lady or you're a big man. You get a man who wants a big lady yeah. or a woman size, who yeah. wants a big man. Yeah. So, irrespective of how you are created in terms of physique, you get someone to accept you for the way you are. Yeah. And I have a problem. Please, those who body shame other people, you didn't create yourself. You wake up the next morning and you look uglier than you think you are now. Yeah. How do you feel? How do you feel when people act the same way to you? So many people have committed suicide. So many people have stopped even going to work. Their own businesses, they, they are good at workplace, but they bully them with yeah. their their physique and they don't want to go to school anymore. They don't want to go to work anymore. Yeah. They're always crying. They become drunkards because they are laughing at their physique. Yeah, people don't even post appreciate social yourself. media again because people were commenting appreciate terribly yourself. about yeah. yeah, because their posts some, and, and stuff because like that. Because actually people don't know about the risk when you touch this sensitive part of the person. Yeah. People yeah. don't believe in the mental health problem. Yeah. yeah. That depending on the criticism you're doing with the person because you can do it constructive and destructive. Yeah. When you do it by the constructive, that's good because you go in the right to the person and tell you, you are doing something wrong, babe, but you can do it by this way. But yeah. if you do it by the destructive way, mm. it's because you want to be suffer that person, to yeah. see suffer that person. Yeah. And also, when you see that that kind of person doing that with another person, they don't accept herself. No. Yeah. That is the yeah. most of the time. Yeah. People who mock other when people's you, physique, when you yeah, they When don't. you're bullying another person, it's because you don't accept it yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. So, final words on dealing with um, low self-esteem and seeking validation. Final words. I would say... Um, People can help you build self-esteem, your friends around you, your family. But without them, you have to build it. You have to take it as your responsibility. There will be no self-actualization without first having good, like building your self-esteem. Mm. Even with Maslow's theory of needs, you yeah. know, there's self-esteem before self-actualization where you feel accomplished. You know, if you have no self-esteem, no matter how many success you talk in life no matter how many how much money you make yeah. no matter how many beauty products you use you will never feel satisfied there will be no sense of satisfaction you won't feel fulfilled in any aspect of your life until you feel confident in yourself right so irrespective of the help if you get help from people great fabulous my friends they inspire me you can do it go for it do do this right going to into my new career, it was my friend, like Fifi was always, Charlie, let's let's do this. You can do it. Apply. I got a job. I told him I've, I've got it. I told um, Evalas, I told Fifi, I told, uh, I told Kofi, all my friends, because they inspired me to get there. Mm. But without them, I'm going for it. I won't wait for them. Okay. So don't wait for anyone, not your mom, not your sister, not your friend. When they come, fine. But if not, go for it. And let no one tell you you're not good enough. There will be no harm. Knock on that door. When they bounce you, it's fine. You've not lost anything. You've not yeah. killed anyone. No. Right. Knock, knock on it hundred times. If it opens. If you know it's this one, knock in the other, other one. one. Good. Yes. So yeah. I just want to say, uh, because I know most of most many people are watching you, watching us, they have low some esteem. So the first important thing is you. Second is you. Mm. Third is you. Yeah. And after society and, and other people. Mm. Take care of yourself before and after that you will take care of the other people. Yeah. As I say in the previous videos, live your life and be free. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the society <laughs> say. Yeah. Woman, men, are you are beautiful, 
as God creates you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and I think uh, on that same tangent, I agree with you, um, Diaz, that put yourself first, take good care of yourself, buy nice clothes, go, go for a trip, go to the gym, eat healthy, you know, set little realistic goals for yourself and celebrate those victories. Yes. Get over these i mean when you when you if you're in a place where your 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 self esteem is that low start gradually by building set targets for yourself achieve them and become happy challenge those intrusive thoughts challenge those who make you feel worthless and over time you begin to gain that confidence and you get yep. to live your life the way you want it and and enjoy the because people the always fullest. will talk yeah most definitely yeah. always yeah so right. our question for the day is when was the last time you rewarded yourself yeah. for anything when was the last time you rewarded yourself yeah yeah you know i did recently i bought i bought my yeah <laughs> my nike sneaker. yeah i'm yeah. not going to say the price before my mom yeah. calls me and say hey you yeah. use all this yeah. money for a yeah. shoe yeah. But, but yeah i bought that shoe i bought it i'm, I'm not saying the price like, i bought yeah. it <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah i do it every day every day yes every we... day is a good day <laughs> because I don't know what will happen tomorrow. I yeah. know I am here today, but I don't know after 10 minutes what will happen with me. Mm. So every day I concentrate by myself. So I go into the gym, buy clothes. If it's something mm. like me, I do it. If I want to eat something, I eat. Mm. 